Hello everyone, how are you today? How's your week been? Are you still enjoying being at school with all your friends? Is it only another a week or so before the Easter holidays begin? I'm not quite sure. And I wonder if the observant ones among you will notice that I have got some brand new glasses which are helping me to see better. They're quite owly, aren't they? And I do need to see well today because I am going to read you two stories. This is the first one, The Go Away Bird. And then this one, We All Sing With The Same Voice. And then after that, we'll have a, a little chat about the stories. And I will also tell you another story. So that'll be three stories. And the third story is going to be from the book of John in the New Testament. So off we go. The Go Away Bird by Julia Donaldson, illustrated by Catherine Rayner. The Go Away Bird sat up in her nest with her fine grey wings and her fine grey crest. A little green bird flew into the tree. I'm the chit chat bird. Will you chat with me? We can talk of the weather and other things like the colour of eggs and the aches in our wings. But the go away bird just shook her head and what do you think she said? Go away, go away, go away. I don't want to talk today. You're much too chatty. You're oh so scatty. Just the sound of you drives me batty. So listen to what I say. Go away. Go away. Go away. A little red bird flew into the tree. I'm the peck peck bird. Will you eat with me? There are juicy berries on every twig. We can peck, peck, peck till we both grow big. But the go-away bird just shook her head and what do you think she said? Go away, go away, go away. I don't want to eat today. Your eyes are beady. You're much too greedy. Just to look at you makes me seedy. So listen to what I say. Go away, go away, go away. A little blue bird flew up to the tree. I'm the flip flap bird. Will you fly with me? We can spread our wings, we can soar up high. We can cartwheel all through the bright blue sky. But the go away bird just shook her head and what do you think she said? Go away, go away, go away. I don't want to fly today. You're whirly and whizzy and much too busy. Just the sight of you makes me dizzy. So listen to what I say. Go away, go away, go away. A brown bird hovered above the tree. Good day, I'm the get you bird, said he. I see I'm in for a special treat. You're the very bird that I want to eat. But the go-away bird just shook her head and what do you think she said? Go away! Go, go away! Go away! I don't want to be your prey. I'm feeling wary. You're, you're much too scary. The situation is, is getting hairy. So, so listen to what I say. Go away! Go away! Go away! But the get you bird said, well, now that I've met you, I am going to get you, get you, get you. Then a yellow bird waddled towards the tree. Hello, I'm the comeback bird, said he. He opened his bill and began to quack. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Others. One, two, three, 
all the way back to the tree. And the five little birds all rose together, a noisy mob of fluff and feather, red, blue, yellow and green and grey. And they chased that brown bird far away. Then the go-away bird hung down her head and what do you think she said? You can stay! You can stay! You can stay! I do want some friends today. Let's start playing, no delaying. Let's get hopping and hip hooraying. Nobody go away. You can stay! You can stay! You can stay! We all sing with the same voice by J. Philip Miller and Shepherd M. Green and illustrated by Paul Meisel. My hair is black and red. My hair is yellow. My eyes are brown and green and blue. My name is Jack and Fred. My name is Amanda Sue. I'm called Karim Abdu. My name is you. I live in southern France. I'm from a Texas ranch. I come from Mecca and Peru. I live across the street, in the mountains, on the beach. I come from everywhere and my name is you. We all sing with the same voice, the same song, the same voice. We all sing with the same voice and we sing in harmony. Sometimes I get mad and mean. Sometimes I feel happy. And when I want to cry, I do. When I'm by myself at night, I hold my teddy tight until the morning light. My name is you. I have sisters, one, two, three. In my family, there's just me. I've got one daddy, I've got two. Grandpa helps me cross the street. My cat walks on furry feet. I love my parakeet. My name is you. We all sing with the same voice, the same song, the same voice. We all sing with the same voice and we sing in harmony. I like to run and climb. I like to sit and read. I like to watch my TV too. And when it's time for bed, I like my stories read. Sweet dreams and love you said. My name is you. We all sing with the same voice, the same song, the same voice. We all sing with the same voice and we sing in harmony. Oh. Hope you enjoyed that. Hello again. Well, what did you think of those two stories? What did you think about her, the go-away bird? She was very bad-tempered, wasn't she? Do you think she'd had a bad day and she just wanted to be by herself? 
But she didn't need to say those mean things, did she? Well, then, when she was in trouble, the rest of them were very brave and came back to help her. And then I think she was a bit embarrassed because of the way she treated them to start with. And she hung her head, didn't she? And they could have said, when she said, please stay, they could have said, oh, no, we don't want to stay with you. You're not very nice. We've helped you and we're just going now. But they didn't. They let go of those feelings. They forgave her. They just let it go. And it was in the past. And now they could just have a, a good time together and just enjoy each other's company. And this is a, a very cheerful story, isn't it? All singing together. But it's also a story that tells us about how different we are. I mean, I'm different from you. I'm a grown up and you're a child, unless you're a grown up watching as well. <laughs> I've got a different color hair from you, probably. My eyes are a different color. Your eyes are a different color from your friends. Your hair's a different color. And maybe people in England and Scotland and Wales, we speak English, but with different accents and if we come from a different country we speak a completely different language altogether but there are some things that are the same I mean we come from different families we live in different streets in different kinds of houses so many things that are different but one of the things that this story tells us is there are some things that are the same and what are those things they are the way we feel what's in our heart, we all know, probably most of us know, what it feels like to be angry and upset and to have people who are angry with us. And sometimes we might say mean things and sometimes people say mean things to us. Well, we know what that feels like if it's happened to us, don't we? But we also know what it feels like to be happy and jolly and enjoy other people's company and have a, a lovely time and just feel, ah, oh, life is good. And sometimes we know what it feels like to be afraid, just like I'm sure these birds were quite afraid of what they had to do. But then we're brave and we don't listen to our fears and we do what has to be done. And then. I think all of us know what it feels like to be sad, to be so sad that we cry. So while there are lots and lots of things that are different about us, where we live, how we speak, what we look like, there are things that are the same. Now, this is where I'm going to tell you another story. And you will find this story in the book of John in the New Testament. And this happens at a time when Jerusalem was very, very crowded because people had come from all over the place for the Passover festival. Jesus was there and his followers were there and people from different countries were there and they were all, well, a lot of them anyway, were talking about Jesus because he'd done something rather dramatic. He'd come into Jerusalem riding on the back of a donkey and people thought he was going to do something very dramatic. They thought he was going to be their king. Well, he wasn't going to be that kind of king. They thought he was going to be the kind of king that would get rid of the Romans and save them from the Roman rule. But that wasn't what he was going to do. Well, the other thing he'd done, which people were talking about, was he'd raised Lazarus, his friend, from the dead. But while all this is happening and people are talking about him, John tells us this. And I'm going to read what it says. It says, among those who went up to worship at the festival, the Passover festival, were some Greeks. Greeks come from Greece and they speak Greek. They don't speak Arabic or Hebrew. Well, they must have spoken a bit of it because they approached Philip, who was one of Jesus's close followers, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and put this request to him. Sir, we would like to see Jesus, which is another way of saying we'd like to meet with him. 
Well, Philip didn't go directly to Jesus. He first of all went to tell Andrew and then Andrew and Philip together went to tell Jesus. And then it doesn't tell us if they did meet him. We don't hear any more about them at all. What we are told is that Jesus began to speak about what was going to happen to him next. And there's quite a lot of it, which I'm not going to tell you about right now. What I want to do, though, is to remind you about two of the things that Jesus used to talk about a lot, that we learn a lot about in the Gospels of the New Testament. And one of those things was to follow him. He often says, follow me. And the other thing that he said a lot about was forgiveness. There are lots of stories in the New Testament that are all about forgiveness. Well, this story is about how these other birds were able to forgive her even though she was so crabby and cross when she was in trouble and come and help her. And they let go of any bad feelings they had towards her. They forgave her. This story though, what's, what's this all about? Well, the Greeks were different, weren't they? But that didn't stop them wanting to meet Jesus. And, Andrew and Philip didn't say, you're Greeks, you can't meet him. He's just for us here in, in Palestine, in Jerusalem. They understood that these Greeks were people just like them. And they needed to hear the words of Jesus just the same way that everybody and anybody needs to. And in this story, what we understand is that while we are all different, there are lots of things about us that are all the same. And the more we reach out and draw each other in, the better it is, the better we feel. The easier life can be as well when we reach out and draw people in. And that was the whole reason why Jesus was teaching the things that he taught, because the other thing he said to his followers was, go out and tell everybody about me. Tell everybody what I have taught you, what I have been for you. I want you to be for others. So what we're going to do now is something that we can all do together. Even if we come from different families, even if we speak slightly different languages or with different accents, there is something that we can all do together so that we feel more included and more part of the whole, more children of the same family in that way, the, the human family. I'm going to play you the singing version of this. And if you listen to it a few times, you'll find it's actually quite a catchy tune and you'll easily be able to learn the chorus which goes, I will remind you, like this. Um, it says, we all sing with the same voice, the same song, the same voice. We all sing with the same voice and we sing in harmony. Not sure if I got that tune quite right, but it's a very catchy tune. And if you listen enough times, you'll be able to learn it. So I hope you'll do that and remember, when we reach out and become a whole circle, life just feels a lot better. Like it did for the cross go away bird and like it can when we just reach out and bring each other in to our circle. I hope you enjoyed the stories and I hope you'll enjoy learning the song. Bye bye for now.
I'm from a Texas ranch. I come from Mecca and Peru. I live across the street in the mountains on the beach. I come from everywhere and my name is you. We all sing with the same voice. Sisters, one, two, three. In my family, there's just me. I've got one daddy. I've got two. Grandpa helps me cross the street. My cat walks on furry feet. I love my parakeet. My name is you. We all sing with the same voice. The same song. The same voice. We all sing with the To run and climb, I like to sit and read, I like to watch my TV too. And when it's time for bed, I like my stories read, sweet dreams and love you said, my name is.